everyone so today I want to go ahead and do this lovely spring look for hooded eyes as you can see it's very soft and pretty with a little bit of that strong blue right there to kind of really make the face pop this is a cruelty free tutorial everything that I'm using from my brushes to my product are cruelty free so I hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial and bye so we're just gonna go ahead and start this look off first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to take this little sample size of the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my base color. And the palette that I'm going to be using today is this e.l.f. palette. It's a 36 color one. It is the older version, the cool, not the spring version. And I'm going to take this color here as my base color and taking my Real Technique, my Real Technique base shadow brush, synthetic bristles. I'm going to go ahead and dip it into that. And I'm going to apply that all over both eyes. Now I'm going to take my Deluxe Shader Brush from Real Techniques and just kind of soften that all up. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my Elf Blending Eye Brush and I'm going to take the pink in this palette, this color here. With my eye as relaxed as possible, Take it here first and then down. So you want the highest part of this to be right where your eyebrows begin to thin out. So that's going to be right here. That's where you're going to take this brush and pop that there so you can begin to shape your eye. Now that you have that shape established, going to go ahead and do that to your other eye, remember, right there. Pop that with your eye relaxed. Pushing it in. Now taking this flat brush again, Face shadow brush. Dip into that pink again. And go ahead and distribute the shadow, never rising any higher than the original point that you made. Very lightly pulling it in to the inner corner of the eye, but again, never rising higher. Do the same to the other eye, intensifying it just a bit. Now that you have that color put on, you're going to go ahead and take this. You want to go ahead and take that same Elf Blending Eye Brush. You're going to clean it off a little bit. Don't be too rough. Then dip it in there. Now, just in the outer corner of your eye, just push that in. Push, and don't get any onto this part of your eye. To your mobile end, just push that in. The first time you push it in, you're going to want your eye relaxed. And this is just helping you establish that you can see the color nicely. And then you can go ahead and lift your eye. Now, go ahead and gently pull that in to the softer pink, very gently, making them blend seamlessly. Now, 
I'm going to want this peach to be even stronger, so I am going to build that up. Now that I have that color established, and I have it as strong as I want it to be, I'm going to go ahead and move forth. I'm taking the Deluxe Blending Brush again, very slightly touch it in there. Never adding any color to this, just slightly touching it in there. Now I am going to take my Accent Brush by Real Techniques. Going back into this palette, I'm going to take this beautiful tealy blue and just dipping my brush in there. Applying this to my tear duct. Same thing to the other eye. Now that I have that established, I'm going to go ahead and do the eyeliner portion. I'm going to take this blue here as my eyeliner, and I am actually going to take the Real Techniques brow brush for this, and just dipping it in there. This is a really big brush, so if you feel more if you feel more comfortable doing it with a smaller one, that's perfectly fine. Now that I have that in there. I'm going to tap off the excess and just going into my eyelashes as close to them as I can. I'm going to pat that in. I'm going to go ahead and do it to my lower lash line now. Just pushing it. I'm going to stop about right here where my arch really goes up. Go ahead and do the same to the other eye. Just go ahead and add a little wing to your eye. With your eye relaxed. It's not necessarily cat wing, it's just a little wing to help elongate the eye. And then just soften it up with your finger. Now I'm going to go ahead and check for evenness. Because as you can see, they're not perfect. And you want everything to be perfect. I'm going to go ahead and do my mascara now. This is the Tarte Light Camera Action Mascara, I think it's what it's called. I'm not sure, but I really adore this mascara. Out of all the cruelty-free mascaras that I've tried, this is by far my favorite. Buxom used to be my favorite, but this one definitely outshines it. So now we're all done with the eyes. I'm just going to go ahead and do the blush and the lips. So for my blush, I'm taking the cream blush by e.l.f. It's called Tease. It's this lovely color here. I'm just going to actually dip my fingers in there. Make sure your fingers are nice and clean. Starting from here, from this part of the cheekbone. Now everybody's cheekbones are different, and you're going to have to experiment with what looks best on you. So now that we have that all in, I'm going to go ahead and take my e.l.f. blush brush, wonderful thing, and taking my contouring and blush bronzing duo by e.l.f. and go ahead and take this bronzer, dip my brush into it very slightly. Mm -hmm. Make a fishy face. And right there. That's the only place 
I'm gonna contour and because there's a blush on top of it that's cream based it's gonna be best to blend this in just very slightly with your fingers same thing on the other side and this is my whole summer look spring look it's my whole spring look I really hope that you guys enjoy um, please subscribe, rate, and comment. Bye.